What is up guys and girls, I am Virtual Pix and welcome back to Interstellar Rift and we have a bit of a change of pace today. I am not on the server because um, I can't do jack shit on the server because for some strange reason apparently the ship, the Zodiac got destroyed while well, I wasn't even there. So... There's no ship. I currently have no credits, so pretty much no way to go anywhere or do anything. This is pretty much put out that possibility of going back to that server again, you know, uh, unless I have my crew with me, because can't do anything. I'm fucked, basically. Anyhow, I did have an idea. So, it's not the end of the world, you know, we, we've still got things to do, which is good because I am actually in the process of building a new ship. So, I, th it's not anywhere near ready yet, it's not had its power uh, stuff set up, and in general the ship just is not in any way really ready. But oh, I don't have enough s iron. Ah, well, that's fine because now I get to show you exactly how I can afford ships like this on this uh, on this single player world where I don't ever do jack shit. So, if you would please, game. Uh, do, uh, I think it's that. I think it's that. Wait, did I seriously just do that and not? Oh my fucking god, how much? <laughs> oh, get it, get it right, let's. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, there we go. Right, so, in its current state, it's not ready yet. It still needs quite a lot to be done. Have you built? Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds like it may actually have done something. So... Uh, first things first, we're going to need a metric crap ton of this. Because like I said, its power groups aren't set up and it's not complete. However, at the very least, I should be able to get over there. And we should be able to have a look. So, this thing has four hydrogen tanks. Yes, four. That's that's four large hydrogen tanks. The fuck is going on? I think the ship might be freaking out a little bit. Right. Let's get that sent over. It's two loads. It should be enough. Hopefully. At least I hope it's enough because if it's not, I'm going to be slightly fucked. I'm probably going to need to back it off a little bit because it, it's. I have a feeling that where it's sat is probably a little bit too close to the station. Just, just, just a little bit. After all, it isn't called the Magnum Productio for no reason. And for those of you who know, or may have noticed, yes, the name is Latin. So. Ah. Loading screens. What am I gonna do? Now, this thing is fucking enormous. 
mercy. Also, oh yeah, I forgot. It also doesn't have any lights. I forgot I hadn't done that yet. Uh, that's fine. Fortunately, I know where I'm going on this ship, so we can just navigate using that. Good damn, it's dark in here. After all, we are only, um... Oh, hello. Yeah, this is definitely... Oh. Right. So. Could we... Maybe figure out where exactly the hell. Ooh, okay. Can we um get a little bit closer? Um. Come on, come on. Yep, yep, fit, yep, fit. Uh, right, about there will do. That will do fine. That will do. Right, now, if I remember rightly, around here, there should be. Aha! Oh my dear Jesus, I'm going to have to hurry this up because there's no solar panels on this thing yet, which means as soon as this runs out of power, that's it. It's, it's, we're done. In fact, actually, do you know what? I don't trust that I'm even going to be able to get through that much of the ship in the dark without power. Oh dear. Um... Hmm... Well, this is going to be interesting. Can I have the hub, please? Thank you. There we go. Right. Maybe I should have actually put some solar panels on that before building it. Well, there she is. That is the Magnum Productio, and she... No, I don't know if that's just because that's actually reasonably far away, but it doesn't look as big as it actually is. Hmm. Interesting. Either way, I need to get some more hydrogen, because the hydrogen that was in there, not enough. Not anywhere near enough. In fact, actually, I don't think there's really any point in me even bothering because the damn thing has no lights. So. Actually, I know what we'll do. We know exactly what we'll do. Because at least then you'll be able to see this thing. Can we open the door, please? Thank you. Um, salvage that one. So let's uh, salvage up that. Lovely. And then we want to design. At least then you'll be able to see the layout of the ship thus far. And yes, before I load it, it's bigger than the Zodiac. A lot bigger. So. Mode. Ah! Haha! <laughs> Here we go. Right, so wh where the hell are we? I did not mean to do that. I think I accidentally just deleted something. So let's uh, reload that because I'm not entirely certain what it is I actually deleted. 
Okie dokie then. Right, so let's um the atrium. Here we go. Let's add some lights to this thing because lights are a nice thing to have. Um You're not lined up with the door, are you? No. There we go. Okay, right, so you just, you don't want to light up that area. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't think that was going to work. If that had worked, that would have been a little bit too easy. So, if we could maybe get some... Uh, lights there and there. Uh, we'll get some here and here as well because they're not exactly necessary. But anyway, yes, this thing, uh, the cargo hold, is fucking ginormous. And the best bit is, is that's not even how big the cargo hold actually is. The cargo hold is actually three high. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this thing is enormous. This is not the kind of thing that you want built on a server I think because um, well to be honest it's probably not the kind of thing you want built anywhere because it's so damn expensive I mean uh, as you saw it's hugely expensive Now, it sounded a lot better in my head than it actually ended up being. Right. Can we get some extra lights in there, please? Thank you. Right. Please and thank you. Uh, I am actually going to put some lights around the backs of these, just in case I ever want to go there. Like I said, the, the thing is not even anywhere close to finish yet. There is still... A lot to do. Um, there we go. Get that lit up. And then we're just going to shove lights along there. Because, you know, being the cargo hold, it's going to be dark as all great fuckery. Otherwise, in fact, actually, we, we got a good drift as to how dark the damn thing is going to be anyway. Oh, okay, there is actually a light there. I was wondering about that. Yeah, I... Th uh... Oh, wait. There's a light there, and one there. Hmm, okay. I'm not going to question my, um, trying to light that symmetrically. Because I don't think it quite worked. And we're going to light this opposite to what it is downstairs, so... Oh. I didn't mean to put you there. Um, can we please... There we go. And... Um, this one I'm just going to light up as is downstairs because, to be honest, it's so goddamn huge that I cocked it all up. I done cocked every... Wait. How did I... I'm not going to question it. We are just going to accept it for what it is, because if I start questioning it, I'm going to start questioning all sorts of things. And that's never a good thing for anyone. Oh, good God, this thing is probably actually a little bit too big, or at least you'd think. Did I really forget to put a barrier there? I did. Well, here you go. 
can't be having that no barrier there. Jeez. Um, why are you glitching out, Floor? Hmm. Can't go old stairwell. Here we go. Let's see if I can't fix this up. Um, this one. There we go. Problem solved. Hopefully. At least I should hope it's problem solved, because if it's not... Well, at least this room will be easy enough to light up, because you just do that. Right, so that's... Uh, i got to do the multiple layers of the atrium now. And I'm well aware that I probably spelled atrium wrong. That's not the right place. I need it there so I can have one there. There we go. And another one there. And pretty much the same deal along here. Wait, that's not where that was meant to go. That was meant to go there because the other light goes there. There we go. And then the last layer. Um, I think I might just light that one up like that. Yeah, that, that seems like a fairly okay idea. Uh, the generators. Kind of powered up. Oh, they're kind of there. Yeah, that'll do. Um, mm. Anyway, up to the dark as fuck bridge, because who doesn't want to light up a dark as fuck bridge? We're going to have light either side of the doors. Uh, one light there and there. Another one there and there. I completely forgot there were batteries there. Why are there batteries there? I'm not even certain of that myself. Uh, is that going to be light enough? Hmm. Maybe shove a window on this, because why the hell not? Window. And I, yeah, I know there's batteries here, but fuck it, window. Um, actually, I might just get rid of two of those batteries and then just find the batteries again. The this one, and then there we go. Lovely, beautiful. Now it's got windows either side, so it's not just boring. Boring, old boring, boring. Oh, yay. I remember just how fucking enormous this thing is now. There we go. And... Lights along here, I guess. Uh, don't really need lights there, but... I do need some guards there. Uh, and then I think, yeah, just that one. And then we go upstairs. Got to do the same thing up here because I didn't put any guards in this thing at all. There we go. Oh my god, it's, there is, this is so much. Ah, the crew quarters. Now the crew quarters did actually have some light, so and so does the captain's quarters. Uh, I don't think I'll have to go too nuts on that. Right, down a layer. We've done all of that. Down another layer, and just this one. Right, so. That should pretty much cover that for light. 
Um, we're pretty much just going to do the same thing here. Keep it relatively out of the way. Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to go for a wall light in the hallway. Um, where is it? Access wall. Here we go. So, one, two, and we'll stick the third one there. And then, again. Do you know what? I think I might actually, yeah, I'll shove one just opposite that. There we go. That should keep that happy. And now for the most dreaded room of all. The main engineering. I have been not looking forward to uh, dealing with lighting for main engineering. Mostly because it's going to be an absolute bitch fuck. It's not exactly small, put it that way. Um, you know, I could actually just put a door on that there, couldn't I? I could. Do I really want to, though, because... Um, Do you know what? I might actually put a door on that. I have absolutely no idea. And then we'll put that there. Yeah, I'm not entirely convinced that I should actually put a door on that, so... Um... Light. Yeah, you only need one light. What on what was it on the inside? On the inside You do also need a little bit of a fence though, so there we go. Hmm. Okie dokie. I'm gonna have to switch sides for this one. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Exactly what I wanted to see. I, I did not anticipate doing a video where I was basically working on Minis new sheep. Because, yeah. Wasn't exactly the plan. I was hoping to have a nice video of um, missions and stuff. But I suppose, you know, push comes to shove. You have to make do with what you got. Um, there and there, probably want one there, and the same way, you're kind of there, um, we'll put, like, two lights there, I'm going to put two lights like that, and then another two lights like that. Lovely jubbly, and that should hopefully mostly light up that area. Although, mind you, this ship is still going to be dark as absolute fuck in some places. Based entirely on the fact that it's so goddamn huge, I actually can't light everything. Like, I don't actually think it would be possible for me to light everything. I just don't think that's something that I can do. Uh.
Well, at least this is easy enough to light up. Oh, we don't actually need to worry about that. We will do that, though, just to make it somewhat even. Um, have we got lights up here? No, we don't. We don't have any lights up here at all. So, let's get a few lights up there. Right, now, hopefully, that should actually be somewhat better lit than it was. Um, I'm thinking that maybe this area is going to be a little bit dark, so we'll just shove a light there. <sighs> right. So, we'll save this because it's done. And we'll see, hopefully, oh, actually, do you know what? This is not a fucking solar panel for the, um, lights and shit, is there? And I haven't got the doors and life support set up, because I haven't done the power yet. Okay, this may have been a bad idea. Also, I think the game's just crashed. All I'm gonna do is go and see how big that fucking strip miner is actually when you're in the game instead of in the editor. But no. Ah. Oh. Well, it loaded. Um. Right. So, can we close this? Because literally all I want to do is go and see how big that strip miner actually is. So. If we could just build that. Um. Well, hey. Hey, 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 door. What are you doing? In a minute, I should just hear a thunderous crash of metal being twisted as the ship actually spawns in and starts killing everything including my FPS but not limited to just about everything in the vicinity so let's get you some of that I'm going to send two loads over into the hydrogen tanks but I'm also going to take an extra full load with me because where I'm going actually well where I'm going in the ship actually does have hydro tanks as you saw the main engineering which means if the power so happens to run out before I can get back I have extra power on me in the form of hydrogen we're not gonna bother moving the ship this time because I think it's probably spawned somewhere relatively safe. Although I did notice that just about every ship seems to have its shield down. I wonder why that is. Ah! Mm, much better. Look, oh my fucking god. This atrium is a lot, lot bigger than I thought it was. Still got to do all the fucking wall decorations and shit as well. Where am I going? I'm go that's the complete wrong way. Is no, it's not. The door is up there. I actually, I, I'm losing my mind. I would lose my head if it weren't screwed on. In we go. Ah, okay, so we go from the dark as fuck atrium to crashing the game. Yeah, there we go. Wait for everything to catch up. Oh, this is pleasant. There's your production. The cargo holds stairwell. Refinement. Main engineering is what we want. Oh my good Jesus, that is dark.
I actually kind of like how just oppressingly dark this room actually is. Oh my Jesus. Oh wow. Oh, that is, that's, oh, okay, you, you can actually, like, full-on see into that. Oh. Dear God, that is fucking enormous. And the hilarious bit is, right, so, yeah, that's inactive, obviously. I mean, I probably could use the Zodiac. Actually, no, it's not the Zodiac, is it? It was the other one. I forget which ship it is that had nuclear, the single nuclear reactor, whereas this thing has fucking two of them. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Do you know what? I don't think I'm actually going to put any more lights in here. I'm actually quite enjoying just that sheer, utter, pitch black beyond the reach of the lights. And the fact that you've got the windows there, and then just everything else and the fact that you can these are kind of lit up so you can kind of see what's going on there now it should be one of the oh, okay we're gonna have to speed our stay up a little bit because it is absolutely eating through the hydrogen that is not good so, if we could, um, I would use the elevators, because this thing does have elevators. But, we actually need to be doing this at somewhat reasonable speed. I want to make sure that this thing actually works as I intended it to, because, yeah. You just walk straight up and through, and then up to the top layer of this, which... You can actually walk around and it's just got this ominous glow. Yep, just ominous glow, no light at all. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna stick with my idea and actually have that as just no light at all, that the only light is where you actually walk. Um, what else do I want to do? I want to, before we leave, I want to head to the captain's room, which is this one. Hey, it's quite nice and bright in here. Oh, this is pleasant. I can't actually see any of the ships though. Oh wait, there's one of the turret things up there. Well. Okie dokie then, let's get back to the atrium and head back because... Like I said, this thing still has a absolute shit ton of work to do on it. Um, once I have finished, I'm... The door's not opening, why isn't the door opening? There we go. The door didn't want to open. Hmm. But yes, once I have, you know, actually finished this, I reckon it's probably got, what, another four to five hours work in it? Give or take. Um, I'm probably actually going to upload this one to the Steam Workshop. Uh, GT, GT Trade Hub. I think once it's actually done though, what I might do is 
video, I'll have a video and I might actually see if I can sit that and the Zodiac next to each other. Just for a size comparison, because I'm, I'm pretty certain that that is actually a lot bigger than the Zodiac, but I could be wrong. Are you rotating over there? No, you're just kind of sitting there doing whatever the hell. Okay. Well, anyway, I do apologize for um, this not being quite the video that I planned it to be. Um, but, you know, when you get onto the ser to a server and find that your ship has suddenly gone bye-bye, and you're not really in the state to build another one, at least not without the crew's consent. You know, problems arise. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you in the next video.